We are going to perform a calibration on a P-Series adjustable deadband switch. The P-Series is an explosion-proof switch. It is a dual-chamber design, meaning that the electrical is isolated from the adjustment mechanism. The electrical wires are on the top of the switch. The adjustment mechanism is below the cover here. To connect the electrical connections from the light box to the switch, we would remove the cover, exposing the micro-switch. We could connect the white wire, which is our common contact, to the bottom. We would connect the blue wire, which is our normally open contact, in the center. And then we would connect our red wire, which is the normally closed contact, at the top. The P-Series switch has a set point adjustment scale. The B side is for the set point, the A side is for the reset point. To make our setting easier, we're going to set the A side and the B side, the B side above the set point we want and the A side below the set point we want so that we can do a quicker adjustment for our actual set points. We always start by exercising the switch three times. To exercise the switch, we start at zero and increase to full range, which is 100 PSI. Drop back to zero. We would repeat this three times. The first step in doing the actual calibration is to bring the set pressure up to 80 PSI and hold it there. So we'll bring our pressure up to 80 PSI and then we would make an adjustment of the switch to turn on. The set point adjustment is always on the B side of the switch, the B adjuster. We would use a screwdriver. We would turn, in this case, because the switch not activated, we would turn it counterclockwise to cause the switch to activate. The red light will turn to green. The switch just activated. Now we would set the reset of the switch by lowering the pressure to 20 PSI, our desired point. We would do that and slowly move the switch until we get there at 20 PSI. On this case, the switch did not reset. We would turn clockwise on the A adjuster to cause the reset to occur. The reset when the reset occurs, the light will turn from green to red. It just reset. Now we need to measure the set point. To verify that we've set it in the correct position, we would lower the pressure to zero PSI, and then increase to our desired set point, which will be 80, so we'll bring it up to just before 80, and slowly increase till the switch turns on, the light turns green. And that's right on 80. And then we're going to measure the reset point by lowering the pressure just before 20. And measure the point that the switch turns off, the light turns red. Which is exactly 20. Now we would go back up and measure the set point First lowering to zero, and then up to the set point. Now it's exactly on 80. We would repeat this measurement three times. To repeat the measurement, we would take it back to zero, and then go back up to 80, and then down to the 20 reset but that's how you would adjust the switch. For set points on vacuum range switches, 
It is best to think of the set point as a negative pressure. So an increasing vacuum set point is a decreasing pressure set point, and a decreasing vacuum set point is an increasing pressure set point. 